Hello and welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep and I tend to ramble about what? Anything and everything. And today we're going to ramble about fax machines and how they can be used to take over the world for one million dollars. <laughs> anyway, what does that all mean? Well, I don't know. I thought this was a weird, interesting story that I found off of CNBC. So let's look at it. Hackers could use fax machines to take over the entire networks. Researchers warn. Ah, uh, blah, blah, blah. Well, let's skip that. In an age of instant communication over the internet, the fax machine is seen as an archaic piece of technology, but it could, it could potentially prove to be a gold mine for hackers looking to steal company secrets. That's what he's doing. He's pushing the green button. Green for money! Researchers at Nats, NASDAQ listed Checkpoint Software Technologies uh, said that fax machines, which still reside in many offices, have serious security flaws. Those vulnerabilities could potentially allow an attacker to steal sensitive files through a company's network using just a phone line and a fax number. In a report released on Sunday, Checkpoint researchers showed how they were able to exploit <laughs> cats. <laughs> Security flaws present in a Hewlett-Packard all-in-one printer. Standalone fax machines are a rarity in companies today, but the fax function is still present in commonplace all-in-one printers. They faxed over lines of malicious code disguised as an image file to the printer, relying on the fact that no one usually checks the contents received over a fax. The file was decoded and stored in the printer's memory, which allowed the researchers to take over the machine. From there, they were able to infiltrate the entire computer network to which the printer was connected. Today, companies invest heavily to fortify their networks using the latest technologies available. Security firms such as the UK-based Dark Trace. That's a cool name, Dark Trace. That sounds like something that should be like a like a villain name, you know, like a super villain. They believe that artificial intelligence is key to tackling cyber threats. I guess that's what this here is. Um uh, most efforts country person what is this? Let's let's listen to this. Oh, it's loud, whatever it is. Welcome to CNBC's Beyond the Valley podcast, where we talk to some of the most innovative companies, yes. interesting people, uh -huh. and discuss some of the biggest themes in the world All of right. technology across the globe. All right, I'm across Arjun the globe. Karpel in London. And I'm Sahili Rajodhvi in Singapore. So look, this episode is all about the world of cyber attacks. Yeah. And actually, over the past few years, we've seen some big ones. Think about... Yeah, I'll skip. And, and let me just add a little bit of context too, Sally, because... Skip. And prevent in real time without seeing it before. So those stats you read out at the start of the heli were fascinating, and it just seems like cyber. Skip. Uh, you know, smartphones and and data rooms uh, and data servers. This is actually going after unique devices. Um, it can be on a manufacturing plant floor. It can be electrical grid. It can be dropped in a corporate network into another country's network, and given. You know the amount of data we're using really good and powerful and uh says the same thing okay well <laughs> there is a skim over over the uh beyond the valley so well there's a link in the description as always of uh any articles that i go over so you can uh, check this out in detail if you'd like um along with the beyond the valley and the artificial intelligence meets Cyber uh, crime and cyber warfare. Is that what it is? Cyber, cyber, ah! yes, cyber warfare. Well, look at that. I was doing this and it was like, look at that. <laughs> it was like slowing down. All right. Anyway, as faxing is done over the phone line, that ability presents a new attack vector in the cyber threat landscape. According to the checkpoint researchers, HP fixed the vulnerability before the report was published. But the researchers said all one printers from other companies could still have similar security flaws. 
and on and on and on and on, and that is all there is to it. Meow, meow. My cat's meowing at me. Meow. Oh, come here. Meow. Oh, come here. Come here. Do you want to say hi? No, apparently not. Okay. <laughs> So, oh, I don't know. What do you guys think? That makes sense to me. Um, as far as uh, hackers uh, finding their way into fax machines. That's something I really would have thought of, you know, as far... Not, not like I was going to try to do anything like that. Um, I'm not that smart. <laughs> but as far as, like, what, sending, like, a an image file? An image file? Is that what they were saying? So sending an image file and then it gets stored into the fax machine and then I, I guess like that. That's that's weird. That's interesting. Oh well. If you're a company um, that has a fax machine and for some reason you happen to be watching my channel well thank you. I appreciate it. That's interesting. <laughs> I don't have a whole lot of uh, uh, of viewers, so the fact that there's a company watching my channel is cool. But anyway, I hope you found this uh, video useful. Um, definitely check out this article for some more information, and I'm I'm sure if you do a little bit more uh, Google searching, you'll probably find some more information. So, yeah. Um, uh, anyhow, uh, thumbs up if you liked this uh, uh, video. Let me know what you think about uh, all this uh, hacker, cyber crime, cyber warfare, uh, cyber police, and uh, cyber cafes, and all that other cyber-related stuff in the comments, in the cyber comments uh, below. And uh, in the meantime, we will do some more cyber rambling in another cyber video uh, coming up on another cyber day. Until then, we will cyber see ya. Did you like this video? Well, you might like some of these others. I've got tons of them on a variety of different topics. They are just down-to-earth conversations of things that happen to be going on at the time of recording. Subscribing is an awesome thing, too, because it notifies you of any new video uploaded. Thanks for watching, and we'll ramble again soon.